is up everybody so today is the first day of October and you know what that means it is officially considered fall here in South Texas the weather is getting cooler still kind of hot sun's coming out cloudy rainy all all the things that come with fall so I thought that today would be a perfect day to talk about some of my fall favorites. I know a lot of people do this, but I just, I couldn't resist being that basic girl for a change. So I'm actually going to start off with one of my favorite shower products, and it's by Lush, and it's called 93,000 Miles, and it's a shower jelly from Lush. So it has um, this jelly-like consistency. Let me see if I can, yeah, jiggles. <sighs> And oh, I just spilled some on me. <laughs> Oops, but um, it's okay because it smells really, really good. It has these um, eucalyptus and mint extract notes in it, as well as some cloves. And so when you rub it into your skin, it gets that really, really um, cooling, kind of like icy hot effect on your skin, and it smells so good. Like I love to use it during fall. Honestly, though, I use it year round, which I'm kind of sad because I'm starting to run low and. I guess that it's kind of good that it expires soon, so that means I have to use it all. Uh, but anyway, highly recommend it. Um, another thing that I really, really love around fall is this nail polish that I use, and it's by Wet n Wild, and it's called One Step Wonder Gel, and it's in the, <clears throat> the shade Stay Classy, but it's this beautiful, like, pastel pink, but it's like a shadowed, darker pastel pink. I don't know, but I'm wearing it right now. I don't know if you can really see that. But um, <clears throat> I love it because it's long lasting, like I've been wearing this for almost a month now, and I don't know, it just really, really screams fall like colors like that. So yeah. Uh, another thing that I really, really love to wear around fall is this color, uh, it's, what is it? I don't know what it is. No. <laughs> it's this eyeshadow palette by Revlon Color Stay and called Decadent, but it's basically got like these really beautiful pinkish colors and then like a dark purplish color and then this gold color. Um, and it also shows you like how to wear it, which is usually how I do because it's not like an overpowering shadow that a lot of girls like to do. One, I don't know how to do it, and two, even if I did, it probably would just, I have these hooded eyes and it just as a no. But um, I really love this palette. It's very, very like fallish colors. I'm going to use the word fallish a lot, so be prepared. But um, I don't know. I just really, really like it. And then um, my last makeup type product is this matte lip stick color from e.l.f. in color of wine. So it's got this like really beautiful, like I'm actually wearing it right now. It's this really pretty darkish red pink note color stick. Um, it stays on really, really well. And I don't know, I just, I really like the darker red colors for fall. Um, that's usually the only kind of color that I can pull off aside from like pinks and golds. So anyway, um, something else that I really, really like to have around fall are these two scents by Bath & Body Works. One is Pumpkin Latte Marshmallow Comfort. And I've actually got this my freshman year, and it just, it smells so good. I only use it around fall because they don't really release it every year. And so, as you can see, I'm like, I'm running low and I'm sad. But I pack it after fall is over, so that way I have it for the next year. And then the newest one that they've actually released is called Orchid Leaves and Blue Sky. And it's more of that crisp smell. So unlike this one, which is this like, I want to hug you and like sit by a fireplace and get all cozy. This one is like, let's go outside and do things. So it's just, it smells really, really good. And like the container's blue and it's got like glitter on it. And so I'm like, what's not to love about this product? Um, but yeah. And then another thing that I really, really like to have in my room is the wallflower that I have plugged in right now. And it's a smell called Leaves by Bath & Body. And it's just this straight up cinnamon smell. As well as these uh, Scentsy Wax that I got at Walmart. There was like $4. And it's acorn, apple, and golden oak leaves. <clears throat> and it's also like a fresh, crisp cinnamon smell. So it's like if Ball came out with a scratch and sniff sticker this this would what it yeah this is what it would smell like so I really just I really love the cinnamony smells and it's it's I usually try to have them all year round but people give me like I can't believe it's 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 not fall yet how dare you have these smells and so it's like I get to have my smells um, 
Another thing that I really, really like is this apple juice that I make. It's kind of like an apple cider kind of vibe. Um, I take apple juice and then I heat it up and then I put cinnamon and honey in it so that way those two dissolve in the hot apple juice. And then I cool it overnight in the fridge and it's just this really rich, smooth, decadent apple juice. Like you can have it heated up but then it's more like an apple cider. I don't know. And if you don't like your apple juice to be really, really sweet, you can just add ice to this and it kind of waters it down but it still has that rich, smooth taste. Like I just... I just, ugh, it's so good, it's so rich, I love it, I love it, I love it. And then um, something else that I really, really like is baked apples. Now, I can't have a crock pot in my room because I do live in a residence hall, but what I like to do is I like to, you decor these and then you stick them in a crock pot for like four hours, three to four hours on high and you put butter and brown sugar and cinnamon in it and it's just, it's a baked apple of course and it's just this really nice, it could be a dessert, it could be a snack, it could be a meal, I don't know about that, but or you could do like acorn squash in the same way. Now acorn squash is a little bit different, it's supposed to be naturally sweet if you get a good one, but I like to put honey on mine, honey and cinnamon on mine and then I stick it in the crock pot on high for three hours, you cut it in half of course, to seed it, all that stuff. Um, and it's really really good with honey so that's definitely like a main dish and then you could totally bake an apple and have it after that but I, I really love squash I don't really like pumpkin pumpkin is a type of squash but it's not my favorite like I'm not a pumpkin spice girl I just I'm sorry for all you other girls that love it I can't or guys you know but I <laughs> I can't I am a tea person more than I am a coffee person I usually only have coffee when I have like an 8 a.m. and it's cold outside or I liked iced coffee but that's like only if I have like to pull an all-nighter or something and I need the caffeine boost but um, I'm just not I'm not a pumpkin spice person I like cinnamon and I like pumpkin but they need to be like almost two separate things the only kind of pumpkin that I like is pumpkin pie and when I'm carving a pumpkin for Halloween. That's basically it. I'm not, what the heck? Sorry, I'm doing this over my window because the lighting is great and this person just had like a parachute attached to them and they were just took off running through the field. Oh, <laughs> she fell. I shouldn't laugh, I should feel bad. But she fell and it was funny and I apologize for that. What is she, she's doing it again. Oh, I bet it's a science. I bet they're doing anyway. Sorry, I got off track. I'm ADD. If you can't tell, I kind of got distracted. But yeah, apples. Moving on. Um, pumpkins, apples. Uh, but yeah, and I also really like decorating for fall. Um, I have this. Man, I wish I would have brought it over here. I have this pumpkin light that I've had for years, like ever since I in elementary school. Obviously, I'm in college now. Had it for a very, very, very long time, and it's just I don't know, sentimental. But it's this like jack-o'-lantern light and I love it so much. Uh, I love pumpkin decorations, but I just don't eat it that much. Uh, but yeah, I just thought that it would be a good time to talk about fall things and what I love about fall. Uh, most likely we'll be doing this again for around Christmas time and talking about the things that I love around in the winter or Christmas. Um, another video that I really want to do is actually talk about what other holidays are celebrated through December, not just Christmas, but like Ramadan and Hanukkah and Kwanzaa and other stuff like that. So that'll be another video to look forward to later, later, later on. So um, I think I'm going to end this video by kind of just putting, throwing together a little video about my week. I got to visit some puppies. My um, One of my supervisors has a puppy, so I got to spend some time with her. And so yeah. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.